We now shift our focus to some updates in the battle against ISIS in the Middle East. Iraq's Joint Operation Command says the nation's forces have entered Mosul, the city of over a million residents that has been occupied by the Islamic State group for the past two years. For details, let's turn to our Yun Shin. The operation to drive ISIS out of Iraq has gained ground. Iraqi forces have entered Mosul, the Islamic State group's last major urban center in the country. Iraq's Joint Operations Command said its security forces reached the eastern edge of Mosul on Tuesday. Our troops have entered the Mosul TV station. The Mosul TV station is very significant. It means the city of Mosul. This is good news for the people of Mosul, indicating that the real operation to liberate Mosul has begun. Officials say the troops are encountering snipers and landmines as they attempt to drive ISIS militants out of the city. The Iraqi forces include the elite counterterrorism forces, the Iraqi army, and Kurdish fighters. And they are backed by a U.S.-led coalition that provides advisors of the ground and air. The Iraqi government says the number of ISIS forces is estimated to be somewhere at between a few thousand to ten thousand. Meanwhile, the human cost is escalating at an unfathomable rate. The Office of the U.N. High Commissioner for Human Rights said Tuesday that it had received reports that militants had tried to forcibly transfer some 25,000 civilians to locations in and around Mosul on trucks, likely for use as human shields. Thanks to patrolling aircraft, most vehicles turned back, but some did not. We have grave concerns for the safety of these and tens of thousands of other civilians who have reportedly been forcibly relocated by ISIL in the past two weeks. The fight for Mosul is set to be one of the country's toughest battles since the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. Yin Shin, Arirang News.